welcome to episode one of EmpowerCast. This is Pete, and today I'll be taking you through one of my most frequently asked questions. And that is, how the heck do we get our DVD movies into our iTunes library, where they can then be used on the iPod, the iPhone, shared with Apple TV? Okay, let's get started. We need to first choose the right tool to do this job. Currently on my radar, there are two very effective tools for doing what it is we want to do here. One is a program called Handbrake, and one is a program called Mac the Ripper. Both have their merits, but in this case we are going to use Handbrake to rip our DVDs into our iTunes library. So I'm going to get started by first downloading Handbrake and installing it. I'm going to go to the Handbrake website and I don't remember what it is so what I do is I just go to the Google search box and type in the word handbrake and hit enter and it's usually the top hit and it is I'll click on the handbrake link which will take me to the software manufacturers website and they've made it very simple with a download it now link right on the front page I've got several different platforms to choose from here and I'm just going to choose 10.4 10 10 plus. Click download. You can see when Handbrake first launches it's asking you for a DVD. It's saying hey point me towards this DVD that you want to rip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my DVD of Office Space and I'm going to insert it into the drive. And you could have done this before launching Handbrake you can get the same result. Now as soon as that DVD loads, the DVD player application launches automatically and you begin playing the DVD. So we don't want to play the DVD, we don't want to be in the DVD player application, so I am going to just quit the DVD player application and get back to Handbrake. So as you can see in the Handbrake dialog box, it's asking you to point to the DVD that you would like to rip. And over in the left sidebar of the open dialog box, we see an abbreviation of the Office Space DVD. You see it right here. There's also, we see the icon of the Office Space DVD on the desktop. So let's just click it in the sidebar to tell Handbrake that's what we're trying to rip. And then simply click Open. What Handbrake will now do is scan the DVD and sort of take a look at what files are on there and present them to you for your uh, decision to rip the particular files on the DVD. Uh, just a note about that, sometimes you're ripping a DVD that has multiple episodes. For instance, if you get Season 1 of The Sopranos, there's 13 episodes, so each DVD contains several different episodes you'll see under the title pull-down menu you have different episodes to choose from. This is where it can be a little bit confusing because I don't know which one to rip. Neither of them are marked as feature or special features so I'm really not sure what either of these files are. But conventional wisdom would tell me that the movie is most likely the one hour and 29 minute file and the intro or the menus is the 2 minute and 31 second file. So I want to make sure I choose the 1 hour and 29 minute file because like I said it's most likely that that's the feature. I'm going to click that. Now under presets by default we only have three but there is a command down here at the bottom under the gear pull down menu that says update built-in presets and I'm going to choose that now. When we do that the built-in presets expand to show many many more. We won't go into what each one of them is for but if you're gonna rip a DVD for use on your computer or on your iPod it's the safest bet to probably use iPod high res. So I'll click that and then we simply click start. So let's get started ripping this DVD. As you can see when we get started, at the bottom it says encoding, task one of one, and the amount of completion. It also gives you an ETA, so this DVD will take approximately one hour and 
uh, 30 minutes. Almost the exact time or length of the feature. So it's about real-time ripping with this particular computer. I do have a G5 tower on my desktop with four processors in it and the ripping time for a DVD is about 40 minutes. So it really depends on the processor speed of your machine. If you're using a MacBook, let's say, you're going to get considerably less speed than you would out of a MacBook Pro or a tower. So this will vary depending on the type of hardware you have, but as you can see here, we will be waiting about an hour and a half for this file to be finished. I find that it's best, uh, before I go to bed at night, I throw a DVD in and I choose RIP uh, from Handbrake, and Handbrake just rips it while, while I sleep so I don't have to sit and wait for it. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, Handbrake gives me a pop-up box that says, put down that cocktail, your Handbrake encode is done. So we just click on OK, and we can even quit Handbrake now. And on the desktop, you see a file called officespace.mp4. And that is the feature we ripped from the DVD. In fact, we can even take the DVD out now. I'll just drag it to the eject icon in the dock, and we'll remove the DVD altogether. So we've done step one, download handbrake. Step two, rip the feature from the DVD. And now step three is we want to get this movie into our iTunes library. One thing I want to point out is uh, the title of this file happens to be Office Space in all caps separated by an underscore. There are some instances where the DVD encoding manufacturer for whatever reason, doesn't name the file so intuitively. Sometimes it'll be called Feature or Video TS. So we're going to rename that later, but I just wanted to point out that it's not always going to give you the name of the feature that you just ripped. So what I'll do now is take this file that Handbrake produced for us from our DVD and bring it down to the iTunes icon in the dock. And I'll just sort of feed it to that iTunes icon iTunes will wake up and grab that file and bring it in to the appropriate library, in this case, Movies. You can see it's copying, so we just have to give it a minute to copy. And it starts to play automatically. So I'm going to stop that for the time being and go back to the Movie section of my iTunes library. Now you can see my 300 DVD has a nice DVD cover representation where the office space that I just ripped kind of gives me a random keyframe from the beginning of the video. So we're going to fix that. We're going to get us a nice DVD cover representation so our cover flow looks nice. And we're also going to change some of the other parameters of the file that was created by Handbrake. So I'm going to launch Safari. And I find that the easiest way to find the DVD cover is to just punch it into the Google search box. So I'm just going to type in uh, Office Space DVD. And then I'll click on Images. And there we have the DVD cover for Office Space. And you want about a 300 pixel width is pretty much ideal in that neighborhood. It doesn't have to be exact, but 300 is about right. So I see a 300 here. Perfect. I'm going to click on it and then click see full size image. The quality is not very good, so I'm going to pass this one up for uh, a better one, I hope. Let's see what we can find. Here's another one. Click it. Click see full size image quality is a little better on this one here. So I'm just going to drag that and drop it right onto my desktop. And I can quit Safari now. There I have the Office Space DVD cover on the desktop. So I'll go back to iTunes now. And I'm going to get info on my Office Space file here. 